tweets about insanity of leftists pushing World War Three. Now, leftists used to be anti-war. Now there's a switch. Now they're all about war. They're all about destruction. All about nuclear war. This is it's scary that there's no one on the left actually speaking out against what's going on right now. <clears throat> um, but before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button. Share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon. This is where I talk about things I can't talk about here. There's also a link to my Instagram and my merch store where I have our not comply t-shirts. So check those out as well. All right, let's talk about this news. The Biden regime continues to push for a war with Russia and is doing is doing all it can to instigate that war. I mean, look at everything he's doing. And Elon Musk opined on the subject yesterday. Biden's actions make the world a scarier place. Escalating the war between Russia and Ukraine is a key example. Now, there were peace talks reports, and, and um, the West was against it. America, the U.S., was against the uh, peace talks. So that's why we are in the place that we are right now. Um, as reported last week, it is likely that Biden blew up the Nord Stream 2 pipeline between Russia and Europe. If Biden was behind this act of war, Biden should be impeached. Uh, this was an act of war committed by a president without congressional approval on a nuclear power. It is just, I mean, what was he thinking? Uh, the U.S. Constitution requires that Congress be the only entity to pass an act of war. Biden cannot do this by himself. His actions related to Ukraine have been nothing but dangerous. They keep propping up this corrupt country. Everyone knows that Ukraine is corrupt. It's been written about years ago, and they're pretending like all of a sudden Ukraine is now this beacon of freedom, and, and uh, they're not corrupt, and like they don't have Nazis going walking around um, um, in their military and things of that nature. Uh, it's utterly ridiculous. And President Trump says he could have a peace deal between Russia and Ukraine within 24 hours of beginning the effort. Through his actions, Biden shows that he doesn't want peace. I mean, look at everything that he's doing. He keeps giving Ukraine more and more of our tax dollars. When we're and when people in our country are suffering, he's sending billions overseas to fund a war. And Elon Musk shared yesterday a tweet showing the insanity of the left. The left said President Trump would get us into, would get the U.S. in uh, World War Three. But now Biden, um, and the left and the WEC are, are pushing uh, for war with nuclear Russia. And, and and then I got the picture. I got the picture right here. The uh, so uh, it says 2020. Trump is gonna start war. Leftists was all mad. We got to get rid of Trump. He's gonna start World War Three. And now all of a sudden in 2022, because Biden is president, we need to start World War Three. <laughs> and and um and uh, Elon Musk re uh, responded, replied to that, and said exactly. This uh, is perfect and another example of far left communist warmongers etc projecting on good americans their sins we see this when this same corrupt group of individuals label god loving family loving and american loving great people as violent uh, remember what look what they're doing with the uh, catholic catholics when they have to pull that uh, stuff back they try to label catholics as terrorists and came out with this whole document where basically they were going to infiltrate the Catholic Church and all of that stuff. Just regular American people loving their God and then you got people like the FBI going in and, and, and spying on them. Um, and, and But when you got real terrorists like Antifa destroy, destroying the country, burning stuff down, shooting police officers, burning police cars, the FBI is nowhere to be found. They ignore the billions of dollars in damages, hundreds of injured uh, police, and many dead as a result of the 2020 BLM and Antifa riots. I mean, this is utter nonsense, utter ridiculousness, and that's what we're seeing right now. When are people going to wake up? When are normal Americans going to step up and say, we don't want no more of this uh, stupid war that's going on? We don't want any more of our tax dollars going towards this. When, um, when are people going to stand up and make the government stop uh, uh, misusing our, our, our tax funds? But um, let me know what you think. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, subscribe, and check out democrepublics.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.